At 3 o'clock on Saturday, a 10-ton steel emergency floodgate was opened at the Morganza Spillway. The last time the Morganza Spillway was open was 1973. Today, one gate was open. You can smell the water in the air as it comes through one of the gates. There's 125 of them. And 1.6 million cubic feet per second is gushing out. And just less than 10 minutes after the spillway was released, on this site, a quarter of a mile away where this press conference was being held earlier, water was already making its way. This is the, the world's third largest uh, river basin. So an Im immense amount of snow at the north end of it, melting late in the season, plus anywhere between 600 to 1,000 times the regular precipitation falling in some areas, it's all coming down into this one system. The reason for opening the Morganza spillway is to create a diversion of water away from Baton Rouge and New Orleans and the numerous oil refineries and chemical plants along the lower reaches of the Mississippi River. There's so much pressure. It's, there's, there's not another opportunity to, uh, to relieve that pressure than, uh, than here. So no, no, know, well, what the, uh, know what the impacts are. What? The water is expected to flow 20 miles south into the Atchafalaya Basin and move to Morgan City, an oil and seafood hub with a population of 12,000 before flowing into the Gulf of Mexico. I think it's important for people in the state and around the country to understand that the Corps of Engineers is doing its best in dancing this river all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. The Morganza Spillway is expected to be in operation for the next three weeks, with gates continuing to be opened based upon what the Army Corps deems necessary. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Morganza, Louisiana.